I have now three interesting stories about three Tesla Gigafactories, two in construction and one already in operation. The first one is that Tesla is performing Model Y Gigapress casting tests at its Texas factory. Well, that's a rumor. The second one is about Giga Shanghai. Tesla Giga Shanghai is not experiencing production halt or delays, says Global Times. And the third one is about Giga Berlin. The Brandenburg economy minister expects production to begin at Tesla Giga Berlin in three months. And now I'm going to tell you all of these three developments at Tesla Giga factories uh, below. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and give us thumbs up, like this video, please that will help us tremendously to put this video in front of more people so tesla rad is reporting that tesla is performing uh, model y gigapress casting tests at texas factory at giga texas and uh, joey clender says tesla giga texas production facility is rumored rumoredly undergoing some test runs of the model y's year rare one piece casting months ahead of its scheduled initial production phases according to some close to the project some people close to the project tesla has spent the last year developing land and constructing its largest gigafactory production facility to date in austin texas in what will eventually become a production facility that will supply the eastern portion of of North America with Model 3 and Model Y builds and the Cybertruck. Tesla has made tremendous progress in Austin. It appears that the company is already performing casting tests ahead of production phases. This means Gigafactory Austin has started later than Gigafactory Berlin, but tests are going earlier than Gigafactory Berlin. So now, but I'm going to get to Gigafactory Berlin's update. So now, according to Texas resident and frequent Giga Texas visitor, Joe Techmeyer, who has always provided Giga Texas videos and information to Talk News and on its YouTube channel. So Joe, who also files drones over the site, Gigafactory Austin, to track progress, as sources close to the operation in Austin say that the first test casting was completed by Gigapress 1. The Gigapress is a very large casting machine from Idra, an Italian manufacturer. Tesla has utilized the Gigapress for the Model Y's single piece rare casting. I was given information by reliable on-site sources that late last evening the first test casting was completed by Gigapress number one. This was a Model Y rare casting, Techmeyer said. Tesla introduced the rare casting with the Model Y to eliminate an excessive number of parts that make up the frame of the car. Tesla went from 70 piece to one single piece with the introduction of the Gigapress and the single piece casting and it has been one way the automaker has increased production efficiency and build quality. Tesla also plans to use the Gigapress single piece casting for the Cybertruck by using an over 8,000 ton force machine. Giga Texas is not and will not be the only facility under Tesla ownership to utilize a Gigapress either. There are currently three casting machines installed in China, Gigafactory Shanghai, uh, two at Tesla's Fremont factory in Northern California, and there will be Gigapresses at both Giga Texas and Giga Berlin, where the Model Y will be the top priority when production begins. As you know, Elon Musk has said that he intends to make the Model Y as the world's top selling uh, vehicle. Now, the use of a casting machine to create a one piece rare frame for the Model Y not only increases friends' production efficiency and build quality, but also improves vehicle safety in the event of a rear end collision. While the Model Y and the Cybertruck will be using the Gigapress casting design in the near future, CEO of Tesla Elon Musk said that the Model 3 would also eventually eventually use a single piece casting just not anytime soon. Musk said in an interview with Sandy Monroe, he said, 
at some point we probably will switch to a single piece casting but i think we need to get the texas factory and the berlin factory going we do have an issue it is hard to change the wheels on the bus when it's going 80 miles per hour down the highway so model 3 is well was was most of our volume model y will exceed model 3 but we just need an opportunity to redo the factory without blowing the cash flow of the company end of the quote the news of tesla performing casting test runs at giga texas only helps the company's narrative that production will begin soon especially we heard that the cybertruck production will begin in the fourth quarter of this year currently tesla's contracted crews on the site are working to install and commission the machinery that will eventually pump out hundreds of thousands of electric vehicles every year so we're going to look forward to this and i will have joe techmeyer's video friends in the description of this video the next video uh, report that i would like to have about the giga factory is tesla giga shanghai is not experiencing production halt or delays global times says joey klender from tesla Radi says tesla giga factory shanghai production facility in china seems to be operating under business as usual despite reports of a halt in production or delays in manufacturing it was reported earlier this week that Tesla's Gigafactory Shanghai facility was experiencing delays with expansion projects after rumors circulated that a large plot of land located next to the company's China-based facility was not going to be pursued by the automaker. Media reports took this as a delay in tesla expansion plans but workers at the site indicated to a global times reporter that there are plenty of things going on that will help tesla increase its production volume at the site so it looks like tesla right now at least we, as we understand it is not going to buy that extra land that i was talking about but it looks like things are still going to go uh, forward i just want to see what is the status of um model 2 or the $25,000 compact affordable tesla but i have a quote from the global Times saying several expansion projects in the park are being carried out simultaneously and the expansion project for the plant's phase 2 construction is at the stage of sailing planking one construction worker who is on site told the global times another worker who builds ventilation pipes said that construction is approaching the end and the workload has been reduced tesla didn't report respond to the global times inquiry for comments i mean who was going to respond the only response you can get would be from tesla china or from elon musk yourself because tesla doesn't have a pr department now the rumors of the delays had to do with tesla's rumored acquisition of an additional 100 13.9 acres of land directly next to the shanghai factory which the company never made public intentions of buying while the acquisition of the site could have increased giga shanghai's production capacity which currently stands at 400 4, 450,000 vehicles annually up another 200,000 to 300,000 300,000 vehicles tesla seems to be having no problems with its already occurring expansion according to what workers on the side said it seems that there has been plenty of miscommunication regarding what tesla's plans are for its intentional international factories not only has giga shankai been the subject of rumored delays friends that go on to be debunked only hours later but giga shanghai seems to be subject of the false narrative as well giga, giga berlin was reportedly facing another six months delay and would not begin production until january 2022 this has yet to be confirmed by tesla who still state slates its initial production phase at the german plant for late 2021 meanwhile local politicians believe the site could begin operation as soon as late summer in fact that's the news that i would like to report also here is that tesla's factory in germany has recently again become the victim of false information saying giga berlin will start work only in early 2022 which is not true according to Tesmanian, the minister of economic affairs labor and energy york steinbach expects production of giga berlin to begin this year york steinbach 
expects production to start at Giga Berlin at the end of the summer, as he said on Wednesday in the Economic Committee of the Brandenburg State Parliament. Although the manufacturer aimed to start production in mid-2021, the addition of a battery factory required adjustments. According to the State Environment Agency, the application for approval of the project should be publicly interpreted again, which may delay the final environmental approval. However, a delay of as much as six months is not anticipated. So that's the good news. Steinbach believes that new approval process will take no more than three months since the application for the extension was submitted in late April. This means that approval must be in late summer or early autumn. Thus, the information about the delay of production until the beginning of 2022 is false, especially considering the fact that it was obtained from unnamed sources, which itself casts doubt on its reliability. I totally agree with this. If you have from unnamed sources, it casts doubts on reliability. But I have a question. If you delay the application approval process for three months and you get late summer, does that mean Tesla will be ready late summer or Tesla has some work still to do? We don't know that yet. In addition, Tesla and its CEO Elon Musk are set to begin production at Giga Berlin in 2021, a week before German media reported a significant production delay during the quarter one 2021 earnings call. Musk confirmed that production at Giga Berlin will start this year. The earnings report also indicated that the company expects production to begin in 2021. Now back to Shanghai before I finish that story is that Giga Shanghai has been one of Tesla's biggest advantages in the steadily growing electrical vehicle market in China where EVs are becoming widely adopted, Tesla remains the most successful manufacturer in the region thanks to the ever-growing popularity of the Model 3 and Model Y. While Tesla is de dealing with some competition from other affordable economic EVs like the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV, Tesla is still the choice of consumers when it comes to all electric luxury mid-size sedans or crossovers. Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are. Are you excited that Tesla apparently is performing Model Y Giga Press casting tests at Texas factory and that uh, Tesla Giga Shanghai is still expanding without buying the delay. There is no halt or delays without buying that land. And also that Tesla Giga factory Berlin, Giga Berlin is expected to start the production in three months by the end of summer and not in 2022. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla breaking news and give us thumbs up and like this video, please. And let's continue the discussion in the comments section below. Have a great day, friends. God bless you and peace be with all of you. See you soon.